Hi folks, this is your MWIS Winter Planner in association with Petzl. Snow conditions on the mountains has been changing in recent days. We've had a period of thaw which has taken away a fair amount of snow at lower levels but still on high terrain there is now some consolidated snow in place and that's most extensive across higher terrain in Scotland and with the freezing level having dropped over the last 24 hours then refreezing has occurred even across high tops in England and Wales and some fresh snow has been falling as well. This is the situation modelled as of Wednesday morning. Mostly the greatest amounts of snow coverage is still very much on higher Scottish mountains. The situation on the ground won't change too dramatically in the next few days. Some top ups of snowfall even across northern England here on Wednesday night as a front comes in from the west. So some fresh accumulations fairly widely across higher terrain through this time. Take things on into Friday and the situation looks reasonably similar and the weekend will start with a similar situation over the mountains as well and with relatively dry conditions in the outlook to the weekend those mountain snow conditions are going to stay much the same through that time. Freezing conditions will stay in place largely across higher terrain. This is where we will be as of Wednesday dawn with some frost into the valleys and the glens where skies are clear overnight. Broadly a freezing level into the daytime around the 600 to 800 meter level maybe just a few spots toward the northeast of Scotland a shade higher. That's about your level as you go toward the end of Wednesday daytime, similar overnight. Just some lift of temperature across Wales here may just take temperatures above freezing point just to the highest of tops as a front passes through, but you'll be around a thousand metres or so here across North Wales into Thursday daytime and broadly around seven or eight hundred metres across Scotland and northern England. Some frost again will form where skies clear overnight into Friday so temperatures near or below freezing from the lowest slopes upwards on Friday morning for Scotland and northern England as well. Quite a complicated story on Friday it must be said with a small scale uh, low pressure system uh, pushing northeastwards which could get, give some fresh areas of snowfall. The freezing level is likely to stay generally at that mid height range around six to eight hundred meters a few spots a bit higher taking things onwards into the weekend for your freezing level some further frost overnight in places typically a little bit higher although temperatures may only have uh, marginal variations with height across high terrain so the freezing level i suspect will still be on those mid to upper slopes in the 800 to a thousand meter range air temperature may just go a degree above freezing on some of those mid to upper slopes at times overall though it shouldn't do too much damage to the ground conditions and nothing of any substantial thawing at that time the general weather story looks like this and we have a brief ridge of high pressure on Wednesday giving way to a front pushing in from the Atlantic and that will produce a mix of rain on lower ground and some snow on higher terrain that becoming more persistent in western Scotland and encroaching further eastwards as we go through the afternoon into the early evening hours that front will pass through it's a cold front essentially once it moves its way across the country by this time so we'll just maintain those chillier temperatures we leave the situation then into a fairly showery mix for Thursday with showers mostly near to western coastal mountains some snow and some hail in the mix at times and some brisk southwesterly winds across the mountains as well system toward the south of England is the one that we're then watching there is variation between some of the forecast models and just how extensive that becomes it has potential to be a bit further northwest than this particular model chart shows and if it does then it could produce some snowfalls across the tops of Wales possibly northern England and into Scotland as well some indications like this one take that feature away quicker off into the North Sea these sorts of systems remain one of the great challenges for forecasting even with the best of high resolution computer modeling there is uncertainty between the various forecast models where such a system will go and this is another alternative view then for the overnight hours into the start of Friday and there is that more extensive envelope of precipitation all the way across Wales North England and just pushing into the south and east of Scotland as well. If this scenario comes off there is scope for some more substantial mountain snowfalls and some strong winds too to take us into Friday morning. That system whatever it does is expected to pull away northeastwards and then we're left with a rather slack pressure pattern to take us into Friday evening and overnight into Saturday with a few showers left behind across some coastal areas toward the south but the weekend is looking reasonably promising with high pressure nearby or just toward the northeast of Scotland so a light to moderate east to south 
southeasterly wind expected across the hills and mountains in largely dry conditions one or two areas of showers possible just across england those uh, may not amount to a great deal a quiet weather regime then really for most to take us into the weekend an odd flurry locally some variable banks of low cloud and some mist and fog lower down in places but some sunshine too i think best of that will be across northern scotland and further west over england and wales with that gentle south easterly airflow next week's weather story then will all be about the positioning of the various highs and lows high pressure looks like staying toward the east and some fronts try and make inroads from the west and it's that battleground story that keeps Keeps us generally on the chilly side and maybe just introduces some fresh snowfalls as fronts bump in to the cold air at times. So a bit of a push-pull story in terms of the weather pattern, but for the mountains and in terms of snow, it may just bring something fresh to higher terrain at least. The general story next week then has high pressure centred broadly around Scandinavia, averaged out over the week as a whole, which does act as a blockage towards the Atlantic weather systems trying to come in. We do have low pressure over the North Atlantic and a westerly flow that exists there, but that is running up against the high. So we're in that betwixt and between weather regime. Low pressure drifting down toward the Mediterranean too, spiralling around slowly. All just is the recipe again for that slow moving and fairly chilly weather pattern to be in place. High pressure toward the north and low pressure toward the south is the suggested pattern towards the end of the month, which would bring an easterly wind flow regime as the prevailing pattern. And that would maintain cold conditions, maybe even drop the temperature further more widely if uh, an especially cold easterly gets in out of Scandinavia or Siberia. That is a potential, at least in the forecast modelling, would be a relatively drier pattern. There may still be some snow showers that feed in from the east coast on that easterly wind and possibly some low pressure systems spinning around to the south which occasionally get into the mix as well but it does look still pretty promising for some cold wintry type conditions in those forecast patterns further forwards all the details as ever for three days ahead for your local area on our website that is your winter planner in association with petzl thanks for watching